What is up, my beautiful, lovely Virgos? Trust your intuition for guiding you to this waxing gibbous in Gemini reading. So this is covering February 1st through the 4th, almost a January, February 1st through the 4th, and waxing gibbouses come right before a full moon. So the activation is at an all-time high, manifestations are popping up like crazy, and Gemini energy is the twin. It's all about communication, expression, so you might find yourself talking to more people than normal. You might find more people trying to talk to you than normal. Um, Gemini is also about not only expression, so putting your talents, your skills, your projects out there, but it's all about intellect. So you might be learning new things at this time. You know, you might be receiving crazy spiritual downloads, Virgo. But let's see in particular what your forecast is. Waxing Abyss and Gemini for Virgo. What's the energy for Virgo, for the Waxing Abyss in Gemini? Let's find out what's going on for Virgo through the self-care cards. Hair, her. I don't know if some of you are, you know, I, you know, I want to say a million things with this. <laughs> some of you could be beauticians, right? Work with hair. That could be your career. Some of you might just like really like to play with your hair, color it up. You know, I feel like there's something with hair here. Hair also makes me think of DNA and your ancestors. So I feel like your ancestors are definitely with you at this time. And in a strange way, like in particular, they're coming through your hair. So just be mindful of that. When you notice your hair, think of, I feel like your ancestors want you to think of them. So give me a little bit more for Virgo. And we are coming up on Black History Month, so if you're black watching this, definitely know your ancestors are coming through that card. We have draw, yeah, drawing them in through your hair, literally. I feel like a lot of you are being called to express. You know, Virgos are artists a lot of the time. A lot of the time, they're very creative. Even if you're in um, like a more logical field, like the IT field or, you know, tech field or STEM or something like that. Virgos are still very, very creative. So I feel like there's this energy where um, your ancestors are kind of with you, guiding your talents, your skill sets. Really goes with the Gemini moon. Yeah, that's why we have listen. Take it out, I'm hearing. Your ancestors are definitely around you. So we have 38, 6, and 23. All right. Okay, shuffle one's cut twice. Give me more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see? What's happening for Virgo with this Gemini waxing gibbous? Wheel of Fortune. Yes, things are moving, things are turning, things are changing for the better. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. By the way, this has all the fixed signs on it. So we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. Um, and it also is represented by Jupiter. So that's Sagittarius ruled. And then, yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Give me another thing for Virgo. Another thing, another card. I feel like there's something really, really, really good happening with the Ace of Cups. A new opportunity almost seems to be coming out of nowhere. I'm getting something with like, oh, wow, I was going to say out of nowhere with the clouds energy. We have clouds on every single one of these cards. Two aces. Virgo, you're attracting something really, really beautiful with this waxing gibbous energy. Like something is manifesting and luck is on your side and it's gonna make you feel very emotionally fulfilled and like you just started something new. Like it's almost like a fire got started under your ass. I wanna see more about what this is. I really, really love that. Okay. Tell me more for Virgo. What's that energy about? Tell me about what this, this energy is that's coming to Virgo. Look at this, Virgo. Luck is just on your side. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if it's because you're putting your skill sets out there finally. I, I feel like if you, you know, if you do draw, you do something creative, whatever it is that you do, especially if it's a hobby, Start putting it out there. And I just heard that ding on the computer, so I feel like that was definitely confirmation. Start putting it out there because it seems like you're drawing in literally a lot of good fortune to you. Give me more for Virgo. We have bison, which is kind of your energy. This is all about being practical and consistent and kind of stuff, tubber, stuff, tubber, tough 
stubborn. I swear I be doing that all the time with my words, be switching them out. But this is really the energy of like Virgo. Turn your, turn your dreams into things. Grasslands. Yeah, there's like a peaceful opportunity that awaits you, Virgo. Even with Penguin. Penguin is all about being systematic. I feel like there's something that you're doing. Um, it's almost like you're building momentum towards something day after day after day. And I think that's building up and it's finally resulting in a lot of good fortune. Yeah, I really love that. For some of you, it's definitely some coins, some money. For others, it's just like literal luck. Give me more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see through the charms? Waxing gibbous. Start today. Yes, and I'm getting that starting energy with the aces, two aces. And this is coming out on great fortune. Start today. So I feel like there, whatever you've been thinking about mulling over in your head, kind of like, mm, should I put this out there? Should I let the world see? Yes, do it. Go for it. Because the universe is telling you it wants to reward you for that. So do that. Tell me more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see with the way? I swear to God, every group I have read for, and I've read for, I think, four signs already, has gotten the eighth house. So we have South Node. Actually, this is North Node energy. North Node, all about your future. In Scorpio, in the eighth house. So Scorpio is death and rebirth, transformation, resurrection. Yeah, you're transforming something, um, like switching cycles. I'm getting that with the Wheel of Fortune too. That's benefiting your future. Eighth house is death and rebirth. You might be ending some things too in order to, you know, start something new. But with these clouds, I feel like there's like a gift from spirit, a gift from Virgo, right? Isn't that that Beyonce song? <laughs> so I feel like there's something that's coming to you almost out of nowhere. It's going to seem like it's out of nowhere, but it's because you've been putting in the energy, the work behind the scenes. So get prepared for that, Virgo. I love that. I hope this resonated. If it did, Check out the description section for how you can book a personal reading with me. Otherwise, I will catch you later in the next reading.